Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we will go back and take a look at the story behind one of the most anticipated games that got cancelled for the Xbox One, Scalebound. Looking to challenge Sony and their PlayStation 4's dominance in original exclusive games, Microsoft invested in Platinum Games in developing a new action RPG in 2013. Scheduled to be released in 2017, the game would never see its release as it was cancelled by Microsoft in 2017. The concept of Scalebound was established by Platinum Games back in 2006 where the studio made a decision to move ahead with Bayonetta instead that was released for the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, and the Wii U, which was released by Sega and Nintendo respectively. Not a bad choice as Bayonetta has become one of the best action games of all time. Pitching Scalebound again to other companies never really drew any interest as Platinum Games had to move on with approved titles like The Wonderful 101, Vanquish, Metal Gear Rising, Revengeance, and many others that had contracts with both Nintendo and Sega. Being highly touted and sought after developer, Platinum Games eventually had time to revisit the concept again, but this time with Microsoft Game Studios. With a brand new experience that no one has worked on before, Hideki Kamiya and company was able to convince Microsoft to take the leap into a brand new action RPG with the high level of action that the company was known for. Development started in 2013 and as Platinum Games' first attempt at an action RPG, this was the first where dragons and the players were the main protagonists instead of just being enemies. The game would be a fantasy setting where the main protagonist, Drew, would be taken from the modern world thrust into a new adventure and to bond with his new dragon. Using games like Dragon Slayer, Hide Light 3, and Dragon Quest as major influences, the world would be vast and encourages exploration but still retain different possibilities from the surprise treasures to bosses that doesn't exclude other amazing dragons. Announced at E3 in 2014 with a cinematic trailer, Scalebound soon grabbed a lot of attention as it was different and solely slated for the Xbox One, which truly needed exclusives. Missing E3 2015, the game did show an impressive gameplay at Gamescom 2015 along with Crackdown 3 and Quantum Break, all the exclusives as well. Scalebound once again made waves with its emphasis on graphical and visual quality trying to be photorealistic pushing the Xbox One using the Unreal 4 engine. With a 4 player co-op multiplayer also announced, Scalebound looked like an instant hit. With the game's release slated for late 2016, Xbox One owners were finally waiting for a must-have only for the Xbox One. Silence would follow in 2016 with an eventual delay to 2017. And then the unthinkable happened when a highly wanted original title was then cancelled out of the blue in early 2017. Shocking the gaming community, especially with the quality put into this game, I myself was especially upset as the Xbox One became a laughingstock to only play third party games and when they had a chance to shine, they cancelled it and just moved on. Reflecting on what had happened, it soon came to be where the game's identity shifted to be more graphical intense and more on the RPG side rather than an action platinum game that they're known for. Also, with Platinum Games gaining more and more projects in motion, the development suffered for Scalebound alongside many other games released during this time like Transformers Devastation, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in Manhattan, and more. In the end, Platinum Games and Microsoft both agreed that the quality wasn't there and more time was needed so they both failed gaming fans and the game was abruptly cancelled when mediocre games like Crackdown 3 and Sea of Thieves were given the green light. Scalebound still was a great opportunity to bring that Japanese developer to Xbox solely and to also bring such an original game to light. 
The good news is, recently announced by Platinum Games in February of 2020, they would love to work and finalize and release the game, but needs Microsoft's permission as they own the property. Let's hope Microsoft does the right thing for gamers and gives us what we wanted back in 2015 when our minds were blown. The release of Skillbound on a Series X. That's it for me on this episode on a look back at what happened to Scalebound. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg take us out of here and I will see you all next upload.